Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC, GPAC, current people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we are joined by the NSIC Defensive Player of the Year, Marcus Hansen of the Bemidji State football team. Marcus, thanks for joining us on Spotlight. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, as we do each week, let's start with you telling us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I'm from Wasika, Minnesota, uh, the home of the Blue Jays. Uh, I'm a wretched sophomore here. Um, I've been playing for the past two years. I uh, love every second of it. Um, I'm an exercise science major. I'm planning on doing physical therapy school once I finish my undergraduate uh, here at Bemidji State. Uh, no plans yet where I'm going to be going with that, but uh, figure it out eventually. All right. You said Wasika, Minnesota. Uh, why did you choose Bemidji State to continue your academic and athletic career? Yeah, so um, I was in an interesting spot with COVID. Um, out of high school, originally I planned to do track and field uh, at the collegiate level, but um, due to COVID, a lot of money was pulled kind of from the track and field programs across the nation. So um, that was an opportunity I was able to take. Um, and thankfully, you know, Bemidji had a walk-on spot for me uh, kind of later on towards the end of the kind of my recruiting uh, venture. Um, Thankfully, I was able to take that position. Now, now I'm here three years later. So, uh, like they say, it's the best decision ever. All right. And uh, track and field, what events did you do? Yeah, I was a shot put and discus guy. Um, my senior yeah. year, I won state in both and then ended up winning uh, the Mr. Minnesota track and field, too, as well. Very good. All right. Well, that obviously correlated well to the football field because you are the NSIC sack and tackle for loss leader this season, voted by the coaches as the NSIC defensive player of the year. Uh, what does it mean to you to earn that award? Yeah, um, overall, it's just like an awesome recognition. Um, I really appreciate everyone that's helped me get here and, um, you know, all the coaches that voted me uh, into this position. You mentioned all the people that helped get you there total of 14 Beavers were named all NSIC. Talk about some of your teammates and how they have helped this team excel this season. Yeah. Um, personally, I'm going to, I'm going to shout out Ty Cobb. Uh, you know, obviously he's an all American offensive tackle um, going against him every day in practice. Um, I feel like has made me such a better uh, player overall. All of them starting from scouts all the way up until this year, I've been going against him. So uh, he's a great guy just to work with, uh, just to kind of learn some stuff from. Um, and then I'm going to shout out the rest of the D-line, Stephen Hoffman, Marco Cavallero, and uh, Cade Barrett. Um, without those guys, I won't be in the position I am today. Um, I feel like they, they've they been able to set me into positions where I've been able to succeed, and I've been able to put them in the positions to make them succeed, too. Um, so really, we just we all feed off each other. We all make each other better. Um, so it's just, it's just a great environment to be a part of and have those guys – and be surrounded by them. Yeah, and how would you describe your style of play? Yeah, I would describe it as like super fast and physical. Um, that's what I got aspiring to do every time I go on the football field is be the most fat, to be the fastest person out there, to be the most physical. Um, my goal every play is to put someone on the ground. Doesn't really matter if you have the ball or not. Uh, I just kind of hope I end up putting someone on the ground. So. Um, just be able to go and play fast and physical is just a really big part of my game. All right, Coach Bolte and the Beavers are advancing to the second round of the NCAA playoffs for the third year in a row. Uh, what's the culture that he has brought to this program? Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, uh, kind of even what I modeled my own playing style after was just the physicality piece of it. Um, that's something that I don't think I've ever been a day here without hearing come out of Coach Bolte's mouth is, uh, being the most physical team, being the most dominant team on the football field. Um, and that's just the biggest piece I take away from Coach Bolton. I think that he's really brought to the program that's helped us succeed in the last couple of years. Uh, regular season finale loss at August Stana to put you guys at two losses as you waited for Sunday's NCAA selection. What was the feeling around the room as you waited to see your fate? Um, yeah, it was uh, – for me, especially personally, I felt a lot of anxiety and not necessarily that we weren't going to make it in, um, but just waiting to see our name up on the board uh, kind of at the end of the day. You know, we were the last people up. We were the last team on in the bracket. So uh, I was a little nerve wracking. But, you know, once we saw Community State go up in the bracket, it was just kind of a sense of relief kind of go across the room. Um, and then we knew what we needed to do going into the next week. And that was just kind of to win. 
And when you did a 10-3 win down at Texas Permian Basin, uh, they talked about all three all three phases of the game. BSU offense was hindered a little bit, uh, only being able to score those 10 points, but both the defense and special teams shined for BSU. Uh, how was the defense able to be so successful again uh, against one of the top teams in the nation? Absolutely. Um, I think a biggest piece of it is, you know, kind of what everyone's been saying, it's that experience piece. Um, we've all played together for a really long time. We've all been to the playoffs before. Um, so knowing uh, just kind of the environments we're in and being able to handle it uh, well and with a level head, um, I think put us at a really big advantage uh, across the entire field, all three phases of the game. Um, you know, obviously we missed some opportunities on offense, but, you know, they were very, very good defense. So you have to give them credit to uh, or credits to. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it really just came down to experience. All right. Another new opponent coming up this Saturday at 1 PM when you take on central Washington university at home, central Washington did the same thing BSU did on Saturday when they went on the road, hindered a high power offense and came away with the road victory. Two weeks ago, they have lost at the base in 42, 14 in their season finale. What do you know about this team and what will be keys to advancing to the super region four championship? Yeah, um, especially on the defense side of the ball, I think it's going to be a lot of the same as it was last week. Um, we're going to have to go out and play our own brand of football. Uh, we can't fall in and kind of play uh, into what they're going to want to play on offense. Um, and again, just the most dominant, uh, I can throw out the term violent, team is going to win that game at the end of the day. Um, and, you know, being a being a line guy, D-line guy, I'm going to say it's going to all come down to the line. Uh and I like I like the chances between our defensive line and their offensive line. All right. Well, it's always easy to get excited for game day, but what drives you to excel on those non-game days to get up, get out there, get in the weight room, uh, and just keep grinding? Yeah. Um, knowing that it's all part of the process. Um, and honestly, just trust in the process. Um, all the coaches tell you you have to do X, Y, and Z to be a great football player. Um, so be able to trust in the coaches every day and get up and do those things um, to know that it'll make your job on Saturday a lot easier. Um, so just kind of having that in the back of your mind that everything you're doing is for uh, Saturday, it's for a bigger purpose, it's for someone else, it's for something else, rather than, you know, just kind of thinking about it in that one short term moment. All right, from a track and field athlete to the NSIC Defensive Player of the Year, what advice would you give to a young player to help them in their development? Um, work is the cure-all. Uh, no matter how big you are, how fast you are, how strong you are, what sport you play, um, you can excel at any sport as long as you want to work hard at it. All right, put in the work. All right, that's going to wrap up this week's show. Thanks again to our sponsor, GPAC. Marcus, best of luck to you and the Beavers the rest of the season. Thank you.